Oh shoot, I forgot about this part. Rattata's data will be added to the Pokedex. Uh, what do we got here? We got... Rattata, the mouse Pokemon! It's a tiny little mouse thing that likes to chew on everything. It will even chew on electrical cords despite on despite being electrocuted. It is said that once in a blue moon, a Rattata will become a Pikachu by chewing on electric cords. Bellsprout, the flower Pokemon. Since the bell is upside down, all the nectar it uses to attract flies constantly drips out of it. It is a drooling, drooling fiend. Pidgey, the tiny bird Pokemon. It will often not attack people, but when it attacks people, it goes ham. Using those talons and beak, it likes to shred its enemies to shreds. Mew, the new species Pokemon. It contains all the DNA of every Pokemon ever in creation, even new ones. It gets around. Nidoran, the poison pin Pokemon. It likes to hug a lot more than it should. Because of its poison point, it generally ends up poisoning the people it loves. Spearow, the tiny bird Pokemon. It pecks. A lot. It, it, it's very aggressive and will try to peck the eyes out of anybody passing by it. If you pass by it, be sure to wear goggles or shield your eyes very well. Weedle, the hairy bug Pokemon. It's got a sharp stinger on its head. It's said to be poisonous, but really it'll just make some Pokemon high. Metapod, the cocoon Pokemon. It just hardens and hardens and hardens, hardens and hardens and hardens, hardens and hardens, always hardening. Just hardening always. Caterpie, the worm Pokemon. Look at this guy with his big ol' eyes. He just wants to be your friend. Be careful though, he might shoot string at you. It's uh, it's kinda gross. Kakuna, the cocoon Pokemon. It's just angry all the time. When it was a Weedle, it got so angry that it just tensed up and stiffened into a cocoon. And eventually that anger is what will allow it to burst from its cocoon and evolve into Beedrill. Pikachu, the mouse Pokemon. It generally just is the mascot of Pokemon. Everyone knows what this thing is. Don't even have to describe it. Electric Cheeks, lives in the forest, mascot of Pokemon. You all know it. You all love it. Some of you might not love it because of its popularity, but then you, we call you hipsters. Bulbasaur, the seed Pokemon. It thrives on the plant on its back to provide it nutrients like the sun. If the bulb were to ever die, it would turn into a regular frog and have to resort to eating flies. Ekans, the snake Pokemon. You ever spell its name backwards? Yeah? You see what I did? Did you know, happen to notice? Did you see what? Did you notice that I did? Did you happen to see? Did you catch that? Charmander, the lizard Pokemon. If the flame ever goes out in its tail, it will die. But sometimes, if you're able to relight the tail, then it'll still be dead but have a lit tail. Onyx, the rock snake Pokemon. It's generally owned by trainers who are trying to overcompensate for something, similar to people who drive gi gigantic trucks. You don't really need to think too hard on that one. Heh. <laughs> Hard. Zubat, the bat Pokemon. You know the term blind as a bat? It originated from Zubat, as it doesn't seem to have any eyes. But in reality, underneath its its uh, very fine fur are two very tiny, tiny, tiny eyes. You just can't see them normally. You'd have to shave it. Geodude, the rock Pokemon. Oftentimes, stoners like to have these around because they'll just keep repeating dude back and forth to each other. We've caught every Pokemon that normally appears in, in Mount Moon in the first, like, five minutes of being in here. Clefairy, the fairy Pokemon. Entry not found because you hit A too fast, you dingus. Paris, the mushroom Pokemon. It is. It had trouble from its dealer buying mushrooms, so it decided to grow its own. Hopefully that won't come back to bite it in later evolutions. Ivysaur, the seed Pokemon. Everyone calls it Bud because of the bud in its back. So give it a try. Call him Bud. He won't mind. Nidorina, the poison pin Pokemon. It likes to be super sassy. It also likes to get into to fights with other Nidorina when uh, stuff ain't going her way. Really to stretch for that one. Pidgeotto, the bird Pokemon. Often a bit more, mm, let's say, arrogant than its previous evolution, Pidgeotto will often try to find Pokemon it is weak against and try to take them on in battle. Butterfree, the butterfly Pokemon. It's fat free. Chansey, the egg Pokemon. The egg on its pouch contains all of the happiness it has accrued from over the years. If you eat it, you will be happy, but Chansey will be left feeling, uh, sad and lonely inside. Beedrill, the poison bee Pokemon. It was in a movie with Nick Cage once, but I think that scene got deleted. Venonat, the insect Pokemon. Its eyes can see everything, and I mean everything. You think you're alone? A Venonat is probably watching you. Meowth, the Scratch Cat Pokemon. It likes to throw coins everywhere, but then it realizes that it threw coins away, so it picks them up greedily, trying to get them back. It's really confusing on how it uses money. Did I read Eevee's Poke Pokedex entry? Because we should do that now. Because I don't know if I actually got a Pokedex entry for Eevee. 
Check data. Hey! Eevee, the evolution Pokemon. It has the potential to become so many different Pokemon, but you'll never get a chance to see them in this game. Weepin' Bell, the flycatcher Pokemon. It comes across travelers claiming to be the Forest King, but that's not really actually a thing. Psyduck, the duck Pokemon. It always has headaches, so when you offer it ibuprofen or aspirin, it will always take it, but it does not help the headaches. Unleashing its incredible psychic power using the headaches is the only way to comfort it. However, when it does so, entire cities get destroyed. Charmeleon, the flame Pokemon. As it's grown uglier, it's also grown more ornery. It would really like it better if it didn't, if it looked cuter like its uh, former evolution or more badass like its later evolution. But for now, it's in those ugly teen years. Vulpix, the fox Pokemon. Each one of its tails represents a different layer of hell. When it evolves, it gains even more layers of hell. Raticate, the mouse Pokemon. It's been slapped in the face so many times that it developed butt cheeks on its face. Don't, uh, don't ask it to make an O sound with its mouth, because otherwise it just looks really gross. Squirtle, the tiny turtle Pokemon. It's often confused for being a squirrel turtle, but the squirt in its name means squirt, as in to squirt water out, not a squirrel turtle. Let me go ahead and start reading off some of the Pokedex entries here for, uh, for the Rattatas, because I know Alolan Rattata is a different, uh, uh, Pokedex entry. There we go, the mouse Pokemon, so let's give it its own d Pokedex entry. Rattata, the mouse Pokemon, with its snidely whiplash mustache, it gets into much de many devious tricks and traps. It's evil. Geodude, the rock Pokemon. All the hairs on its head conduct electricity. When uh, under a giant super magnet, it will get stuck to it and then proceed to just sort of hang around there. Although those things are connected to its brain, so it'll also scramble its brain if it gets near a magnet. Similar to a hard drive. Drowsy, the hypnosis Pokemon. It often tries to perform stage acts on, uh, on tour, but every time it gets booed off stage, when the people don't actually fall for hypnosis. Wartortle, the turtle Pokemon. Its ears and tail are very fluffy. However, if you try to pet it, it will try to bite you with its newfound fangs. Raticate, the mouse Pokemon. It looks like a giant hamster with a with a long tail. People off, off people often confuse it for that and tend to try to keep it as a pet, thinking they have found the world's largest hamster. What's a hamster you say? Are there normal animals in this world too? Mr. Mime, the barrier Pokemon. It often acts like it is trapped inside of a box. Because it is. Release it. Help it. Graveler, the rock Pokemon, Alola form. It actually has a very sweet looking face, but due to the magnetized rocks that seem to stick to its face, it always lo is looking angry. Therefore, it can never look as sweet as it wants to be. Arbok, the Cobra Pokemon. I mean, its name is a pun and it's just a cobra. Can you really like, I mean, come on. Hypno, the hypnosis Pokemon. It often sneaks into children's bedrooms and asks if they are asleep. If it says, if the child says no, it will ask again later in about 10 minutes. If the child uh, doesn't answer back at all, the Hypno will assume that it's being ignored and just leave. Diglett, the mole Pokemon. What everyone believes to be its actual body is really just its finger. It's actually gigantic down below. You think that eight inches thing is just uh, is its actual body? Hell no, that eight inches is just the tip of its finger. Parasect, the mushroom Pokemon. Remember when I said it would grow its own mushrooms and hopefully nothing would have gone wrong in the evolution? Well, uh, whoops. Abra, the Psy Pokemon. It is always sleeping, even when it's awake. When it's eating, it's asleep. When it's dreaming, it is asleep. Because normal people dream when they're asleep too. Anything it does, it is sleeping. Jigglypuff, the balloon Pokemon. The angrier it gets, the more it inflates. If you enrage it enough, it will pop. Arcanine, the legendary Pokemon. Well, not legendary in a sense. More like legendary in the fact that it looks majestic and legendary. Not legendary as in one of the legendary Pokemon. Just a legendary looking Pokemon. You get it? Nidoran, the poison pin Pokemon. Unlike its female counterpart, this one tries to act tough even though it looks adorable. I mean, just look at him. Little angry eyes and his buck teeth. He just looks like a fuzzy little bunny rabbit. Don't hug him though or you'll get poisoned. Krabby, the river crab Pokemon. Eat pinch, eat pinch a lot. Do not get near it or else it will pinch. You have been warned, it will pinch. Nidorino, the poison point Pokemon. It acts as a brute sometimes, and have you ever seen that one that stands on two legs? Wow, that was weird. Oh, that was Bill. It's still weird. 
Kadabra, the Psy Pokemon. It will try to bend the spoon with its mind, but when it realizes it can't do it, it will say, hey, what's that over there? And then bend the spoon with its other hand. Nidoqueen, the Drill Pokemon. If you thought Nidorino was sassy, this thing is the queen of sass, hence the name Nidoqueen. It's got queen literally in its name. Nido is a translation from ancient pokeology that translates to sass. So it's literally sass queen. Nido King, the drill Pokemon. With its powerful underbite, it likes to scoop up dirt and eat any of the insects that come along with it. It has a powerful digestion system for digesting dirt. Lot of dirt. Victory Bell, the flycatcher Pokemon. You can fill up it entirely with iced tea and let it sit in the sun and it will make the iced tea even sweeter. Also, you get drunk from it because it's full of poison. Doug Trio, the mole Pokemon. The giant that lives deep under the ground whose finger was up has now counted to three. Who knows what will happen now that we've made the giant upset. Golbat, the bat Pokemon. It constantly suffers from lockjaw, so instead of trying to bite and suck blood out of its enemies, it likes to scrape and lick. Golbat doesn't suck, Golbat scrapes and licks. Graveler, the rock Pokemon. With its four arms, it uses two of them to keep its hidden jewel treasure in place. If it ever moves its arms for any reason, the jewels will be exposed and it will be embarrassed. Rhyhorn, the spikes Pokemon. People in Kalos like to ride on the backs of Rhyhorn, but before they invented special saddles for them, they just sort of rode on that spine. It was very uncomfortable and painful. Some people got pleasure out of it. Cubone, the lonely Pokemon. It likes to bone. I mean, it likes to hit things with bones. And it also wears a bone. It's the skull of its mu- it, Just forget I said anything. Machop, the superpower Pokemon. You best be touching that bicep. If it asks you to touch its bicep, you better do it. Otherwise, it will constantly pester you for you to- Constantly pester you for you to touch its bicep. Kangaskhan, the parent Pokemon. It carries this child to term always. Like, constantly. Even when it's like in its teen years, if it's a young adult, it's like, and it wants to move out, the Kangaskhan will be like, no, you're staying in there. Venusaur, the seed Pokemon. The flower on its back is actually an umbrella. After the plant on its back died, it needed a replacement, so it just put an umbrella there instead. Pidgeot, the bird Pokemon. It flies so fast that when it passes by, you thought you might have blinked for a second, then suddenly a sonic boom will come in, destroying anything that's destroyable by glass. By sound. <laughs> Persian, the classy cat Pokemon. Often made into rugs, these Pokemon are hunted for their fur. Diglett, the mole Pokemon, a Lola form. Its three hairs are actually an antenna. It can pick up radio signals from far away, even some TV satellite signals. It is basically stealing cable. Machoke, the superpower Pokemon. With its increased height and more intimidating features, no one has ever refused to touch its bicep before. And nobody has ever told stories of refusing to touch his bicep. Rumors have it that if you refuse, it will pummel you into the ground. Golduck, the duck Pokemon. Having harnessed the power of its headaches, Golduck can now possess immense psychic powers. Who knows what kind of mysterious powers this Golduck has. Ninetales, the fox Pokemon. Having grown more tails, each one of them now represents a true layer of hell. Pull on one at your own risk and possibly die. Marowak, the Bone Keeper Pokemon. Now that the skull is totally fused to its head, it now holds the power of two skulls. Anytime it wants to headbutt something, it will never take any sort of repercussive damage due to how thick its double skulls are. Vulpix, the Fox Pokemon, Alolan form. It's so cold that people often mistake it for being warm and try to hug it to gain warmth. They end up dying of hypothermia. Charizard, the Flame Pokemon. Often confused for a dragon, it generally regrets its fire flying typing, despite being looking like a big old dragon. It often goes to other dragon type Pokemon and tries to pick fights with them, trying to prove that it is superior over the dragons. Kingler, the Pincer Pokemon. The weight of its giant claw is sometimes too much for poor Kingler. Oftentimes when it is walking, it will just fall over on its side. Fortunately, though, it's also very powerful, so you can just get back up relatively easily. Ninetales, the fox Pokemon, Alola form. It uses great conditioner to keep its fur looking like that. I mean, have you ever seen a fire Ninetales look like that? No? I didn't think so. Raichu, the mouse Pokemon. Often in the shadow of Pikachu, it often regrets being evolved in the first place, but it has to pick itself up off the ground, dust itself off, and say, Hello world, it's me, Raichu! Dugtrio, the mole Pokemon, Alola form. Having grown its long, luxurious hair, the three decide to start a boy band. Unfortunately, they do not take off, as anytime they need to travel somewhere by plane, they are not allowed on. Rhydon, the drill Pokemon.
While it is a rock ground type, its horn can conduct electricity and cause it to take damage. Although not really in the games, more in an anime sense. I mean, when you really think about it, the anime is just kind of meh. It's really not all that that accurate to how the 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 sh the, the games work. Although in the later seasons, you could argue that that you know they brought in game mechanics in order to make it work, but. All right, that's enough out of you. Ghastly, the gas Pokemon. Often smelling of terrible gas. Uh, when it's invisible, people often think that somebody around it has farted. Haunter, the gas Pokemon. Sometimes it forgets where it leaves its hands, and people will just find severed Haunter hands around the ground. It will get confused and try to, like, move it and attempt to make noise to find it, and that just freaks the people who find the hands out a lot. Venomoth, the poison moth Pokemon. Every time it flaps its wings, dust falls off of the wings. That dust is poisonous and also constantly falling off, so it leaves a trail of poison behind it. You often see a wake of unconscious Pokémon uh, in the path of where Venomoth has traveled. Blastoise, the shellfish Pokémon. Upon evolving, it gains two Hydro Cannons out of its back, which are made out of bone. The water it fires from there may come from a sack inside of its body, or it could very well be Bla Blastoise's blood. Firo, the beak Pokemon. Oftentimes people see it as just one giant beak with wings. Because of this, Firo has learned that if it manages to spin very quickly, people will think that a drill is flying at it. Snorlax, the sleeping Pokemon. Upon waking up, it mistakes whatever it sees as food. Therefore, there have been a lot of incidents of people being eaten by Snorlax and becoming one with its fatty folds. Raichu, the mouse Pokemon, Alola form. You know, I was actually going to say something about pancakes, but the actual description for Raichu is about pancakes. Let's go with this instead. It loves to surf. It uh, uses lingo like shooting the curl instead of saying its own name. I don't know if that's actually surfer lingo, but it likes to say shooting the curl. Hitmonchan, the punching Pokemon, often mistaken for a lady due to its skirt. It, uh, it tries to be more manly by throwing many much punches. Many much punches indeed. Doduo, the twin bird Pokemon. The heads often get along very well with each other. They've created a symbiotic relationship in which they agree who gets to eat what food. Dodrio, the triple bird Pokemon. Now that there's three heads in the mix, it's become uh, just a complete mess with how they go about their symbiotic relationship. They have no chance to survive at all, considering that the third head just sort of ruins everything. Rapidash, the fire horse Pokemon. A lot of people in early ages thought that it was just a horse on fire and were panicking at seeing it on fire. They would try to put it out with water, only see that it would collapse from that. Ponyta, the fire horse Pokemon. Just like with Rapidash, people thought it was a horse on fire. However, the first person to try to ride on it realized that the fire didn't actually hurt when it was trusted. But it wasn't trusted, so it got fire crush. Marowak, the Bone Keeper Pokemon, Alola form. This is the ghost of Marowak's mother that we saw in the Pokemon Tower. It has taken on a ghost and fire persona and now doesn't have any ground type attributes to it anymore. Pinsir, the Stag Beetle Pokemon. People often mistake it for the devil because of how its stags are. It makes it look like they are devil horns, but spiny devil horns making it the super devil. Magikarp, the fish Pokemon. As it continues to flop and flop around on land, it is too dumb to realize that it can't breathe, so it just continues to flop around until it doesn't realize that it's dying anymore. Seedra, the dragon Pokemon. While not actually a dragon, it is described as a dragon Pokemon because people initially thought it was a dragon type Pokemon. Little did they know they were mistaken, but only to later be proven wrong again later when it evolves into Kingdra. Horsey, the dragon Pokemon. Often considered a little small for a dragon, people still think of it as a fire-breathing dragon. When first spotted, they panicked because they thought that hole was going to exude a large flame. Gyarados, the atrocious Pokemon. It's actually a kind and gentle soul, and being called atrocious hurts its feelings. In doing such, in its in its sadness, will accidentally go on rampages and destroy things. Tentacruel, the jellyfish Pokemon. Despite being a jellyfish, it seems to have some form of cartilage on it. Jellyfish normally do not have any sort of uh, bone structure at all and are actually made up of like five different creatures. But Tentacruel seems to ignore all the rules of jellyfish and just, just does its own thing. Hey, if I looked like that, I pr could probably get away with a lot of things too. Coughing, the poison gas Pokemon. Before it became a toxic waste dump, it used to produce a rather pleasant odor that would help the atmosphere. But since pollution happened, it hasn't really been the same. Voltorb, the ball Pokemon. This is what happens when a Haunter decides to possess, possess a Pokeball. It got stuck inside, so now a new species of Pokemon has been born. Electabuzz, the electric Pokemon. 
it often hangs out around power plants, so its natural habitat actually isn't known. It's just sort of found around power plants, which is really weird. Magneton, the magnet Pokemon. Between its six magnets, it has enough uh, power to screw up a compass a little bit. Don't put it near your hard drive or else you'll lose all your data. Magnemite, the magnet Pokemon. It's often found being stuck to metal plating and other electric type Pokemon. Trying to pull it off will only result in you getting shocked. Alakazam, the Psy Pokemon. Its intelligence has just grown and grown and grown. It's grown so big that it's actually disrupting the functions of other uh, brain functions, causing it to blurt out random facts at any d given time. Machamp, the superpower Pokemon. Now that it has four arms, it is constantly asking people to touch one of its four biceps. It now has twice the amount of power to bug people about touching biceps. And if you don't, well, no one's ever lived through it. Golem, the Megaton Pokemon. The shell around its body is closer to that of a turtle's, so when you knock on it, it doesn't feel hard as a rock, but rather smooth and leathery. Golem, the Megaton Pokemon, Alola form. You could plug that baby in anywhere, although the beard might cause it to try to shave it. Gengar, the shadow Pokemon. It often tries to follow along in people's shadows and pretend to be them. However, it is easily noticed when not a lot of people are fat chubby dwarfs. Electrode, the ball Pokemon. Having been flipped upside down as a Voltorb, it's suddenly grown much happier. However, it's also a lot more volatile. It's all in a joke, it laughs and it blows up. Zapdos, the electric Pokemon. It flies around sucking the power from power plants. When you get a power outage, it's probably a Zapdos draining all of your electricity. Lapras, the transport Pokemon. If you're ever stranded at sea, just call for a taxi and Lapras will show up. Oftentimes, they'll try to make awkward conversation with you while you're trying to drive, uh, while you're trying to go with it, and will sometimes take very roundabout routes in order to get a higher cab fare. Weezing, the poison gas Pokemon. After years and years of inhaling poisonous gas fumes, it's finally mutated and began reproducing by budding. The tiny coughing on its side is named Darwin and does not like to be on the big coughing's head. Porygon, the virtual Pokemon. Its edges are very sharp. If it were to ever come apart, then those edges are as thin as molecules. If you were to try and grab one of them and miss the, and, uh, get your hand caught on the edge, it would get cut immediately. Star you, the star-shaped Pokemon. The gem in the center of its, uh, of its uh, being flashes every night to try and call the mothership. When the mothership doesn't come, it just sinks back into the ocean and waits for another time. Soon the invasion will begin. Star me, the mysterious Pokemon. Now that two star you have combined into one pretty much, the flashing gem in the center can flash even brighter to contact the mothership. It has been once said that People have seen UFOs uh, scooping Staryu and Starmie out of the ocean thanks to Starmie's power. Slowbro, the hermit crab Pokemon. The shell biting on its tail is actually a cake that Slowbro decorated itself. Being slow, it doesn't know how to eat it, so it thought that it starts at the tail. Seal, the sea lion Pokemon. Its tongue is actually partially paralyzed, which is why it can't pull it into its mouth. However, that doesn't uh, stop it from experiencing all the joys of licking things. Slowpoke, the dopey Pokemon. Its eyes staring in two different directions can actually process the images it's receiving. Therefore, it's not as dopey as you might think. However, it still reacts to pain very slowly. Jinx, the human-shaped Pokemon. It often goes up to passers-by and asks it if, it if they think it's pretty. When they say no, it beats the hell out of them. Dugong, the sea lion Pokemon. In the old days, sailors would often mistake these creatures for mermaids and entry age restricted. Articuno, the freeze Pokemon. Thanks to this Pokemon, the entirety of the Seafoam Islands is covered over in ice, making for great ice skating rinks and for getting the greatest shave ice this side of Cinnabar Island. Chelder, the bivalve Pokemon. It tends to sleep with its tongue sticking out. When it senses that it's something delicious is on its tongue, it will quickly retract it and try to eat it. Cloyster, the bivalve Pokemon. Now that it's on its side, it can actually rock around a little bit and walk. When you see one of these walking towards you, I suggest you run, because it looks terrifying. Meowth, the Scratch Cat Pokemon, Alola form. It was accidentally exposed to a volcano in the Alola region, which is why its fur is all singed like that. Persian, the classy cat Pokemon. Often not doing much of anything, it likes to lay around and eat lasagna. Aerodactyl, the fossil Pokemon. Back in ancient times, Aerodactyl used to scoop the seas with its large mouth and just scoop fish out. This caused a lot of the Pokemon in the area to go extinct because there was no longer any fish for them to eat. Kabuto, the shellfish Pokemon. 
People would often wear kabuto as helmets in ancient times, but realized that it was sucking the life juices out of their heads. Kabutops, the shellfish Pokemon, often believed to be the ancestor of Scyther, it actually has no relation to it. When you say it looks like the uh, Scyther, it will say, what are you, racist? Magmar, the Spitfire Pokemon. Once a tough, powerful being, it fell down some stairs and now was cursed with lumps in his generations to come. Ditto, the transform Pokemon. It can grow up to be whatever it sets its mind to, but everybody wants it to be a sex slave. Tangela, the vine Pokemon. After one day when it ran into, a, ran into an Italian restaurant, well, you can kind of see what happened from there. It has not been able to get the spaghetti off since then. Poliwag, the tadpole Pokemon. When in danger, Poliwag spins very, very violently in order to try to hypnotize its opponent. When it's done, it ends up being dizzy so it can't actually get away. Poliwhirl, the tadpole Pokemon. Now that it has arms, it doesn't have to spin rapidly in order to hypnotize its enemies to get away from them. So now it can actually not only get away from them, but beat the living snot out of them as well. Poliwrath, the tadpole Pokemon. Now that its spiral is sort of misshapen, it just uses those fists of, fists of, it, of, it, of his to beat the, the ever-loving snot out of anything that looks at it funny. Execute, the egg Pokemon. The one in the back is named uh, Terrence, and he has brain damage. Exeggutor, the coconut Pokemon. Two of the eggs left out of protest, and Terrence turned into a tree for the rest of the group to hold on to. They seem much happier this way. Moltres, the flame Pokemon. Once a regular chicken, it was lit on fire and then rose to Phoenixdom. Exeggutor, the coconut Pokemon, Alola form. Back in ancient times, they believed that Exeggutor was of infinite height. They were very stupid, however, as all you needed was a tape measure and maybe a flying type Pokemon to see the top of it. Wigglytuff, the balloon Pokemon. If you continue to inflate it, it will grow longer and longer. Some people have turned Wigglytuff into balloon animals. Fluffable, the fairy Pokemon. It's about as fairy as a fairy can get. Nothing's more fairy than this Clefable, which is the fairiest Pokemon of them all. Except maybe Clefairy. Farfetch, the wild duck Pokemon. Oftentimes, you will see Farfetch in uh, stores, plucked of all of its feathers with its head chopped off, with the leek being there on its side. Generally, you cook these two together and it's delicious. That's why Farfetch are becoming extinct. Tauros, the wild bull Pokemon. It likes to charge at things. If it thinks you're something that would be make a great sound when you charge at it, like a, like a crunch, like your bones cracking, it'll try to charge at you. Sea King, the goldfish Pokemon. Some people say it's a goldfish, but when you ask it any questions, it's just kind of coy. Goldeen, the goldfish Pokemon. When a goldfish first grew a horn out of its head, everyone panicked, but then they realized, hey, we could use this for fighting, and so they did. Flareon, the flame Pokemon. It is so incredibly floofy, you want to just snuggle into its into its fur. Unfortunately, it also burns at over 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, so you'll most likely die. Jolteon, the lightning Pokemon. Sometimes you just want to hug it, but if you startle it, its uh, its fur will all go up on end like spikes and you'll get stabbed. Vaporeon, the bubble jet Pokemon. Out of the three Eevee evolutions, this one is the safest to cuddle. However, its skin is slimy and it's not very pleasant. Dratini, the dragon Pokemon. Many people mistake this thing for a snake and they panic and run away from it, but when in reality they discovered one of the rarest Pokemon of them all. Who knew? Dragonair, the dragon Pokemon. She is beauty. She is grace. She has two wings and a horn on her face. Dragonite, the dragon Pokemon. Somewhere along the line, evolution didn't want to follow the natural course, and Dragonite instead grew limbs and wings. Kind of weird. Hitmonlee, the kicking Pokemon. It likes to kick so much that when it's on an airplane, it te tends to get thrown off for kicking the backs of its of other passengers. Sandshrew, the mouse Pokemon, Alola form. Its head is like an igloo where it used to live. When people try to go into their igloos, they notice a blockage there that turns out to be Sandshrew. Sandshrew, the mouse Pokemon. The brick pattern on its skin is actually bricks. If you were to remove one, it would come out as a solid block. Oddish, the weed Pokemon. 420 Blaze It. Mankey, the pig monkey Pokemon. It is incredibly aggressive and will try to go for any food that you may have. Growlithe, the puppy Pokemon. This is what you get when you crossbreed a dog with a tiger over and over and over again. Pretty awesome, huh? Grimer, the sludge Pokemon, a Lola form. With its newfound teeth, it can eat garbage at an extreme rate. However, don't get too close to it, it has extreme gas. Grimer, the sludge Pokemon. It's always happy and looking for hugs, but be careful, if you hug it, you'll probably get poisoned and die. Scyther, the Mantis Pokemon. Look at how awesome this thing is. Everybody wanted this thing when they was a kid. When they was a kid, yes. I am Grammar, and also Pokedex. Sandslash, the mouse Pokemon, Alola form. The spikes on its back allow it to roll up into a ball and become a giant spike ball. 
Get out of the way when it's rolling. Gloom, the weed Pokemon. Having smoked all of the leaves on its head, they began to wilt, and now it's in a very blissful state in which it will never rouse until it evolves again. Muck, the sludge Pokemon, Alola form. Its entire body is made out of acid, not like acidic acid, the drug acid. So any contact with it and you'll start seeing colors, just all the colors, and looking at Muck, you'll go insane. Muck, the sludge Pokemon. Having evolved from hugging, it now likes to do bear hugs, and even more so, if you touch it at all, you will probably die. Sandslash, the mouse Pokemon. Its claws are razor sharp and also deadly poisonous. If you get scratched by one, be sure to apply some healing ointment immediately. If such a thing does not exist in your universe, then prepare to die. Primeape, the pig monkey Pokemon. When looking into a mirror, Primeape will make very distinct noises that scientists have translated to, are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? There's nobody else around here, so you must be looking at me. Vileplume, the flower Pokemon. Having smoked all of its weed and has come down from its high, it has now gone straight edge. Lickitung, the licking Pokemon. With its long tongue, it often goes to grocery stores and starts eating all the food there. Oftentimes, when a grocery store closes down, it's due to Lickitung. Mewtwo, the genetic Pokemon. Being a clone of Mew isn't actually so bad as people might think it is. Sure, it has the angst of having knowledge without any memories, and without those memories, it doesn't really have anything to think about other than, uh, other than it being alive. So it can be a little bit taxing on poor Mewtwo, but he learns to cope over time as he gains new memories. Ammonite, the spiral Pokemon. Once revered as a god, it has since fallen into obscurity. Who knows uh, whether this, this Pokemon will rise again in religion as a deity once again. Amastar, the spiral Pokemon. Once a cute and, uh, and benevolent god, once it evolves, it becomes an evil and vicious god. It is a wrathful and vengeful god. Do not, do not cross it. Beltan, the Hexnut Pokemon. When it is encountered with a bolt, if that magnetic eye gets moved out of there, it will perish. So be careful when Meltan is around bolts. Melmetal, the Hexnut Pokemon. After getting super swole at the gym, Melmetal decided to beat up all the bullies who tried to put bolts near its head. And with that, all of the game's obtainable 153 Pokemon, including Alolan forms, are ours.